In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options uh, with a globe in the center. So let me just show you how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I've created this sphere shape and put it the map there. So it looks like a globe uh, with a shadow effect. And then I put one uh, border here, the oval shape. And then when I click, the first option comes and then the icons come from the top. And then you can add the title and the detailed text. And on my next click, the second option comes with a different gradient fill here. Then the third option, you can see here, the fourth option and the fifth option. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. And I have started a WhatsApp group. The link is provided in the video description section. So just click the link and join the WhatsApp group. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel PowerPoint University, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes, select the oval shape and draw the oval shape by holding the shift key depending on your requirement. Maybe this much size I'm going to take, shape outline, make it no outline and go to align center, align middle. Then I'm going to give some different uh, radial fill for that. In that case, right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill. And here I'm going to use two stops. So let me just delete one stop and the type I'm going to make it radial and the direction I'm going to make it from the center. So you can see here I have just made something like this. I have just used uh, some a dark teal color and a light teal color combination. Now I'm going to duplicate this. So select this one, press Ctrl D to duplicate and then I'm going to change the radial fill. You can see here the type I'm going to select a linear and the direction you can just select uh, the linear down. You can see here. So the down one, I'm just going to make it more darker. You can go to colors, more colors and increase the shade a little bit. You can see it's more darker and this one, I'm going to make it fully transparent and then just put on top of this so you can see here the bottom part looks more darker and again make sure to align center and align middle now i'm going to paste the world map on top of this you can see here let me just paste this one here and then i'm just going to put it here and if you want you can just hold the shift key and reduce the size and this is fully editable and any color of your choice you can change it for example maybe you can give some dark colors also or any color of your choice you can give and you can increase the transparency or reduce the transparency level so once this is done i'm going to give a shadow effect uh, here go to insert shapes select the oval shape again draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to select the gradient fill again and the type I'm going to select radial and the direction from the center and here the two things I'm going to select the first one I'm going to make it a black color you can see here and the second color I'm going to make it white and then the white make it fully transparent so it looks something like this and then you can go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this and then just put it here and then send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect has been added for this so it's time to add the options now i'm just going to select all this press ctrl g to group it and move it up you can see here and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape again draw the oval shape where i'm going to put the options and this also make sure to align in the center and shape outline i'm going to give some a uh, gray color here and go to lines you can increase the width you can see here i can just increase the width maybe three or four and then shape fill i'm going to make it no fill you can see here i can if you want you can just reduce the size and then just send this to back so it looks something like this and then here i'm going to add 
some options some 3d options so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then you can go to the effects under 3d rotation go to presets and i'm going to select this one isometric top up you can see here and then i'm going to give the depth here under 3d format which is maybe 25 you can see here and then i'm going to just duplicate this hold the shift key reduce the size and then for this i'm going to remove the depth and i'm going to give some gradient fill for this so the gradient fill i'm going to give maybe a two color combination a dark color with some light color you can see here and then change the type to linear and then you can just choose any color you want or uh, any direction and make sure that it is zero transparent both one should be zero transparent and then i'm just going to put it on top of this and this color blue color i'm going to change it to white so it is not visible clearly so i'm going to change the background color so you can give some light gray color or whatever so it looks something like this so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select both these objects and if you want you can give some shadow effect also here maybe i can just select this shadow effect Control c Control v you can see here again reduce the size and then you can just add the shadow effect something like this and go to formats and to back so you can give a shadow effect like this and then i'm just going to select this press Control g to group it Control d to duplicate so this is my second option this is my third option the fourth option here and then the fifth option now if you want to retain the same color you can retain the same color or you can just select this you can see here and then uh, depending on your requirement you can just change the color whichever color you like most so i'm just giving some two or three examples you can see here like this you can come and change the color according to the need so let me just give some lighter color here so like this you can just make some light and dark color combinations and once you change these colors then go to insert if you are not using the uh, latest version then these particular icons are not available but if you're using the latest version the icons are available if you don't have this uh, i have provided one tutorial where i have given free 500 plus icons you can download from my channel so i'm just going to select some uh, randomly some five uh, different icons here you can see here it is just taking some time to download once it is downloaded i can reduce the size and then i can change the color according to the color which i've used or i can make it black also so let me just change the 0.6 maybe let me just put this one if you want to retain black you can put black also not a problem so i'm just going to put it here you can see let me just add one by one like this now once this is done you can simply add the text so go to insert text sorry text box and then just add the title here you can put your title here you can see let me just put the title make it bold again if you want you can use the same color what we have used for this and then you can add some detailed text here so let me just add some detailed text and then just center a line make it gray color or whatever color you like more and then just select this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate just add one by one next to each option here you can see here so likewise you can just add the text and just change the color according to the requirement and the last thing uh, if you want to do some small animations you can do the animation and if you want to give some a glossy effect here also for that you can go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and then go to the effects under soft edges just increase the size you can see here like this you can give some uh, shiny uh, glossy effect 
and the last thing is uh, to give the animation effect so i'm just going to show you a basic animation for one or two objects so let me just close this go to the animations enable the animation pane you can see here i'm just going to animate this let me just group this also if you want you can uh, remove the shadow but let it be so for this i'm going to give a fly in object fly in just say from top you can see here and then just double click this and then increase the bouncing end and click ok so it comes something like this and once this is done i'm going to select this oval shape the line and i'm going to give a wipe effect and wipe effect just say from top and this should happen after previous and then the first option should come so you can see here this is the first option let me just group this also Control g to group it i've just made one group here so likewise just we need to made it all all groups here okay and this text also i'm just going to group it if you want you can just group it or you can uh, do it separately also so for this i'm going to give the animation effect go to more intense effect and basic zoom so it comes something like this and then for this i'm going to give uh, another animation which is the stretch click ok and this should happen from right so here this is the on click and this one should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here so it's very easy for me now i can just select this animation painter click on this you can see here and then i'll use this one animation painter click on this likewise you can just complete the rest of the options